Let's see how to use Python files with Gizmo Creator. You will see this is pretty simple. Create a gizmo. Add a name, add an icon, edit the UI if you want. Choose uh, if you use it on click, shift click, control, or drag up, etc. You have 20 operations with this. After that, choose Python file, set the path here, and set the operator name here. As you can see, I have this cube with some transforms. I added this gizmo because this is a gizmo. I can move everything here. Uh, you can see that I have locations, rotations, and scale. And if I call my Python file, bam, it will clear everything. I can also use Ctrl Z to undo it as I want. Okay. So this is pretty simple. Uh, you can create something like that. This is just an operator with the code I want to clear my uh, location, rotation, and scale. I register it and I add this uh, to call it. Okay. This is in fact this part here. Object uh, clear selection transform. Okay. And I just add uh, bpy that ops uh, that object dot uh, clear selection transform. And after that. Okay. So this is as simple as that. If you don't know how to do that, you can use AI. I added those codes uh, inside the folder, uh, the add-on folder. So like that, you just add to give this to the AI to uh, use this as example. Okay. So uh, this one is pretty simple. Uh, this one is just a function. As you can see, this is a function that will add a cube, that will name the cube, and that will add a material for the cube. And it will launch automatically on this one. When I will click on the button on the gizmo, it will launch it. This one is a little bit different. Um, this is uh, to create primitives. So I added a string property here. And like that, uh, when you will call the operator here, as you can see, you have cube. If I set monkey, the code will set monkey here. And this one will work and you will have your monkey instead of a cube, okay? Uh, this one is to open a panel, and you can also add pretty complicated uh, operators like this one to set a different brush uh, depending on the uh, mode, etc., etc., okay? So this is pretty simple. You can do whatever you want with the patent file, and you can also do whatever you want with Gizmo. You can create operators, you can create properties, uh, you can use uh, toggles, uh, modals, etc. You can also create menus like this one. This is a menu I created and I added whatever I wanted inside this menu. Okay, so I can add a cube, I can toggle the overlays, etc, etc. And like we saw previously, this one is for text. So that's it.